And Mr. Tamanaha, thank you for joining us today on behalf of University of Hawaii. We at Wahiawa Middle School really appreciate your time. And we just had a few questions to ask um, to get us in the groove of thinking about colleges and what we our students might want to look into. So we know that University of Hawaii Manoa is really big because we're from Oahu, but we were wondering what other colleges are in the University of Hawaii chain. Hey, aloha students from Wahewa Middle School. Thank you for allowing me to be part of your um, class today. Uh, the University of Hawaii is a 10 campus system. So you do know the, the big largest campus is that big one in Manoa Valley, UH Manoa, but there's actually nine others. There's uh, West Oahu on the leeward side. There is a Leeward Community College on the Leeward side. There is Windward Community College. There is also on the neighbor islands, Kauai Community College, and where I am from, Maui Community College. And there is also on the Big Island, Hawaii Community College and the University of Hawaii at Hilo. And I also forgot on the Central Oahu, there is a Honolulu Community College and Kapiolani Community College. I think I got all 10 of them. <laughs> Very cool. So it seems like there's a lot more than just UH Manoa. There's UH University of Hawaii campuses spread all over Oahu and the other islands as well. Um, so with that being said, what are some of the programs that University of Hawaii has to offer that our students here could look forward to when they're applying to colleges? You know, each campus, Amongst the 10 schools, each campus will, they focus on a certain program. So some of them are very strong in certain programs. Like I think Manoa, they're strong in uh, ocean, oceanography and ocean science. Here on Maui, if you were on Maui and you wanted to enroll in Maui College, one of our signature programs is our culinary program. And culinary, if you, if you were to enroll in our culinary program, the students coming out, they would enter into the hotels and a lot of them become chefs. And some of them are very uh, famous chefs and they become one of those that compete on the television shows. We had a few that actually opened their own restaurants. Some, and they're working all over Maui County as well as uh, in the hotel industry. And that's our culinary program. We also have what we call a four-year baccalaureate program called sustainable science. And that's becoming probably in the future what's the most probable high demand area. And what it is is uh, we teach students how to manage and how to install renewable energy. Like if you see all those photovoltaics on rooftops and uh, fields all over Oahu, that's what we teach students how to do is to build photovoltaics, how to manage windmills, all of those renewable energies so that the country and Hawaii can eventually get off fossil fuel or the oil-based oil uh, electricity. But it's not just power. Sustainable science also teaches sustainability in terms of managing the island's resources so we don't pollute our oceans with plastics that never go away. We don't fill our landfill with things that never go away. We try and protect our environment for all of the youngsters so that they have a life that they can live in a Hawaii that all of us saw as we grew up. And that's the same sense. Very cool. We just talked about an advisory class how we're really concerned about the growing environmental problems in Hawaii and the way that the political system is handling it. So I'm glad that the UH Hawaii system is teaching to that and are giving the students an opportunity to learn about ways that they can contribute to their community. Uh, so closing question, we were wondering if you had any advice to middle school students who are looking to apply to colleges, whether it be University of Hawaii or any university in the future. What advice would you give them? I think for any youngster, the first thing the person should try and understand is understand what their passion is. 
what they just love doing. Because what you want to do is, whatever you do for the rest of your life, you want it to be not a job. It's something that you just enjoy doing. But once you figure that out, this is what students coming out of high school that I run into here on Maui Colleges. There's a, number there's a number of times that students will come to me and say, uncle, I don't think I'm going to college. And then I'll ask them, and when I ask them why, it's usually one of two answers. They will say, uncle, I cannot afford, I don't think I can afford it. Or they will say, uncle, I don't have enough time. I'm just too busy. So this is what I usually say to these young students. I usually tell them that, you know, you are in a golden age right now. You are usually maybe 17 or 18 years old. You have the rest of your life ahead of you, 80 to 90 years ahead of you. The decisions you make now is going to impact almost the rest of your life. And going to college is not going to give you that golden key to a job that's going to pay you millions. It could, but it's not going to guarantee you that. But what it will do is it will open doors for you. It will open much more opportunities that will allow you the possibility of succeeding, that allow you the possibility of having a family life where you have a sustainable income that you can manage your family in a very comfortable environment. So what I tell these students is, if money is a problem, there is a ton of financial aid out there. You just gotta search it out. Money should never be a problem for any student who wants to access and further their education. If time is a problem, that should never be an excuse because you can build your coursework around your time. You don't have to take a full load. You can take one class a semester. So long you do is every semester, just one class a semester, you will finish. Maybe it might take longer, but you will finish. And the goal is to finish. And that's what I tell my students. Well, thank you, Mr. Tamanaha. We at Wahawa Middle School really appreciate your time and we'll definitely take your advice into consideration when we're planning for our career and our college day coming up in the next upcoming month. Thank you. Good luck and stay safe. Thank you.